It's an exciting day for Pepper and her friends. After weeks of practicing and rehearsing, their play is ready for their audience to see. Candy Cat sells tickets, whilst Danny Dog shows people to their seats. The audience chatter and murmur excitedly. The lights dim down, the curtain rises, and the play begins. It's Pepper's home, a set of the kitchens on the stage. Daddy Pig is sat at the breakfast table, a basket of laundries on the stage, as well as Polly Parrot on her perch. Polly Parrot is staying with them whilst Granny and Grandpa Pig are on holiday. That was a yummy breakfast. Time to get ready for work, says Daddy Pig. Now, where are my keys, he says. But as he looks around, he knocks over Polly Parrot. Oh no, Polly's got loose. Come back here, Daddy Pig cries. Off to the side of the stage, Susie Sheep uses a megaphone to perform the parrot's voice. Calls Susie Sheep pretending to be the parrot. <laughs> come on, Polly, come back, Daddy Pig says. Oh no, not outside. Oh dear, I'm going to have to find Polly. The set has changed to the outside of Pepper's house. Where has Polly Parrot got to? Says Daddy Pig. It's behind you, cry the audience laughing. Behind me? Daddy Pig looks behind him. No, Polly isn't there. It's behind you, laughed the audience. Are you sure? Daddy Pig asked the audience. Yes, cry the audience. Mark, it's behind you, it's behind you, Mark. Squawks Polly. Polly, come back here, Daddy Pig calls. I have an idea how to follow her. I'll follow her in my car. Brum, brum. I'll rescue you, Polly. Brum, brum. The audience clap and cheer. I wonder what will happen in part two. The audience take their seats for part two of the show. The lights dim down and the curtain rises. It's Pepper's playgroup. Madame Gazelle is on stage and Pepper, George and some of Pepper's friends are pretending to be in school. Now children, today we'll be looking at the alphabet, says Madame Gazelle. Now, does anybody know where I put my chalk? <laughs> behind me? No, my chalk isn't behind me, says Madame Gazelle. Who said that? Was that you, George? asks Pepper. <laughs> says George. Mark, come back here, come back here, Mark. There's something very strange going on here, says Pepper. Daddy! Pepper and George call. Hello, you two. I don't suppose you've seen Polly Parrot recently? A parrot? asks Madame Gazelle. Polly Parrot flew out of the window, says Daddy Pig. Oh dear, says Pepper. It's behind you, call the audience. There's Polly Parrot, Daddy, calls Pepper. We have to follow Polly, says Daddy Pig. There she goes, calls Pepper. She's going back to the house, says Daddy Pig. Mummy Pig is putting birdseed into Polly's bowl. So that's why Polly flew home. Polly knew it was time for tea, laughs Daddy Pig. That sounds like rain, says Pepper. And you know what that means. Muddy puddles! Come on, George! Pepper and her friends take a bow and the audience applauds. I think they like the show, don't you? Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a treat in store today for Pepper and George. They're taking the family out for a trip to the cinema. 
Pepper and George are excited. But what film to watch? Daddy Pig checks the newspaper to see what films are showing. Ooh, the new Super Potato movie. What about this? asks Daddy Pig. Pepper and George love Super Potato. The family jump into the car and drive to the cinema. Pepper recognises the building. It's the theatre where her and George perform their play. The family get some popcorn and drinks, head to the screen and take their seats. A lot of Pepper's friends are here for the movie too. The lights go down and the film begins. Super Potato to the rescue! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. The family agree this was a lovely surprise. Eat them all as part of your seven. Potatoes Christmas show. It is Christmas time, and Pepper and her playgroup are going to the theatre to see Mr. Potato's Christmas show. We're here. <laughs> Look, it's the Christmas vegetable family. Mr. Potato, Mrs. Carrot, Sweet Cranberry, and Little Sprouts. Here are your tickets. Find the seat with your number on it. Here's my seat. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Quickly now, children. The show is about to begin. Um, Madame Gazelle, I need the toilet. Oh, Pedro. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Quickly now, Pedro. I've never been to the theatre before. It's exciting, isn't it? Sorry. Uh, thank you. Shh, children. Everyone quiet now. What's that music? The show is starting. Oh! Sorry, everyone. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's phone ringing. Wow! Whose phone is that? That really is the show starting. Welcome to the Mr. Potato's Christmas Show, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. Hello, children. I am Mr. Potato. This is Mrs. Carrot. Here is Sweet Cranberry. And here is everyone's favorite Christmas vegetable, Little Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sprout gone. Little Sprout, where are you? He's lost. Oh. Can you help us find him, boys and girls? Yes! <laughs> if you see him, boys and girls, shout out, There's Little Sprout! There's Little Sprout! That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is! He's behind you! Where? There! Behind you! I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree. Potatoes, carrots and cranberry. It's a very special Christmas with all our friends. Well, the magic of vegetables never ends. 
Thanks. Oh. That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, everybody. That was a bit quick. Wait. There's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Um... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! <laughs> Today, Mr. Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children, Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Aha! Thank you, Super Potato! Remember, kids, always eat your five-a-day! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now, we have a very special guest! Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy, then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty! Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Potato. Super I think he might be Super too Potato. busy to come. No, really? Really, Super I do Potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle. You just need to shout out with us. OK. Help us, Super, Super Potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, 
You have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. <laughs> Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven. Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are going on holiday. They are bringing Polly Parrot to Peppa's house so Peppa and George can look after her. Hello, everyone. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Granny Pig. <coughs> Polly is very excited about her holiday with Peppa and George. Hello, Polly. Ah! Hello, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. What's in Polly's suitcase, Granny? This is Polly's food. George, can you guess what Polly likes to eat best? Chocolate cake! <laughs> no, not chocolate cake. Polly likes bird seed. Ah, bird seed! <laughs> <laughs> can I feed her, Granny Pig? Can I feed her? Yes. It's very important not to give Polly too much food. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Grandpa, can Polly come out of the cage? Yes, but you must keep all the doors and windows closed so Polly doesn't fly away. Yes, Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Goodbye, Pepper. Goodbye, George. <coughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. <coughs> Goodbye, Granny Pig. Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> George has got Polly's bird seed. <laughs> George, that is too much bird seed. Polly will grow very big and burst like a balloon. Pop! Ah! Burst like a balloon! Pop! <laughs> 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 What's that noise? Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream! Hooray! <laughs> oh dear, George has forgotten to close the door. <laughs> Ice cream! Ice cream! It is Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> George, you forgot to close the door. Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <laughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? Ah! It's Polly! Hooray! Ah! But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah! Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah! Would you like a cup of tea? Ah! Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah! Bird seed! I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray! What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Oh. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? Ah! Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
School play. Peppa's playgroup are going to put on a play. The Little Red Riding Hood. Hooray! All the children have parts in the play. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. <coughs> OK, Peppa. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! <coughs> Danny Dog is going to play the Big Bad Wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. On the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm going to eat you all up. <laughs> you see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter, and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. <laughs> you say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my Grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! But look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help. Oh, help. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, save you, Grandma. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Pedro, you were very good. <laughs> you were almost as good as me. <laughs> Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. 
No, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh... Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. 
I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Granddad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa. Can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Peppa is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah? Uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Peppa. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. <laughs> Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. I'm a clever parrot. George's balloon. Peppa and George have had a day out with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream. Why not? I think we deserve it. Hello there. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Four ice creams, please. Coming right up. What flavours would you like? Strawberry for me, please. Chocolate for me, please. Banana for me, please. Dinosaur. Oh, oh, I don't think they have dinosaur ice cream. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon. Do you not want an ice cream, George? No. Dinosaur. Oh, oh. How much is the little balloon? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? It's all for a good cause. There you go, George. Hold it tight. Don't let go. George has let go of the balloon. Ah! 
Maybe I'll hold this very valuable balloon for the journey home. George loves his dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Hold it tight this time, George. Don't let go. Why? Oh, George. <sniffs> In the world, there are two sorts of balloons. The up balloon and the down balloon. That is an up balloon. <sniffs> if you let it go, it will go up and up and up all the way to the moon. Moon. <sniffs> Oh! Ah, got you. <laughs> Perhaps we should go indoors before we lose your balloon, George. Your balloon will be safe in here. Hello, Polly. George has got a new balloon. Ah, oh, balloon! <laughs> Don't you pop it, Polly. George loves his balloon. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look, Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea! <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> fruit. It is fruit day at the supermarket. Look, it's Mr. Potato. Mrs. Carrot. Sweet cranberry and little sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, apple, orange, banana, banana pear and pineapple too. Eat five pieces of fruit a day because they're good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Fruit Day, where the magic of fruit never ends. Wow, so much fruit. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello. We are choosing our favourite fruit. What's your favourite? Um, I like apples. I like oranges. I like bananas. I like carrots. Carrots are not a fruit. Oh, carrots are a vegetable. <coughs> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. What's your favourite fruit, George? <coughs> is it bananas or oranges? George likes strawberries the best. Strawberry. George loves strawberries. Smoothies! Get your fruit smoothies here! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit! What's a fruit smoothie? It's a drink made from fruit. Would you like one? Yes, please. 
Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I have a smoothie, please? Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. Mm, lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, or oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. <laughs> hmm. There's one banana. One banana. Three. No, four strawberries. Five cherries. Strawberries, cherries. One peach, half a pineapple, a slice of melon and something else. What is it? A carrot? Yes, a carrot. Hooray! Dinosaur juice for everyone. <laughs> Are you all enjoying fruit day? Yes, we love fruit and carrots. <laughs> Everyone loves fruit <laughs> and carrots. Shake, rattle and bang. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. 
Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Shake, rattle, and bang. <laughs> Chloe's big friends. Pepper and her family are on their way to visit Cousin Chloe. I love playing with big cousin Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, Chloe! Oh, Chloe! Hi there. These are my friends, Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear. You can call me Si. It's short for Simon. And I'm B. It's short for Belinda. <coughs> I'm Peppa. We'll call you Pe. Oh, and this is George. We'll call you J. Oh. You didn't tell us you had baby cousins, Chloe. <coughs> I'm not a baby. But you're both little. I'm a big Girl. George is little. Uh, why don't we all play a game? <coughs> yes, let's play hide and seek. <coughs> we don't play baby games anymore. We're almost grown up. <coughs> what about the yes no game? What's the yes no game? I ask things and you answer. What makes that a game? You mustn't say yes or no. Too easy. Do you want to play then? Yes. Ah, you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. I wasn't ready. B, are you ready? Yes. Aha, I win again. <laughs> Peppa is very good at playing the yes no game. Can I ask the questions? Of course. You don't mind me asking you the questions? I don't mind. Am I ever going to make you say yes or no? I don't think so. Oh, I give up. How do you always win? Easy. I just don't say yes or no. Ah, I win. You said yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's play another game. Have you ever played sardines? What's that? Someone hides and we all try to find them. That 
That sounds like hide and seek. But when you find them, you keep quiet and hide in the same space until everyone is hiding there. Like sardines in a tin. All right, let's try it. <coughs> George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knot, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. 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 What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> See Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. The carnival. Peppa and her family have come to watch the carnival. Hello! Here are Susie Sheep and Molly Mole. Hello, Peppa. Have you come to watch the carnival? Yes, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. With fire-breathing dragons. And magic people flying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it really is that great. What's that? Is it starting? No, that's just someone sweeping the road before the carnival comes. Oh, it actually sounds quite good. They're using brushes and dustbins to make music. <laughs> the carnival has begun. Here is Mr. Bull and his fancy jazz band. It is Mr. Pony, the optician. Hello. Look, Pedro's on the lorry. It is Captain Dog and Danny Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Miss Rabbit's rescue service. But where's Miss Rabbit? Miss Rabbit is the carnival queen. Ooh. She's not doing much, is she? Well, that makes a change from all the jobs Miss Rabbit normally does. She's probably quite happy to put her feet up. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! <laughs> Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! wow. That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! It's okay. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello, Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Mr. Potato. 
potatoes hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be Queen? OK. I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr. Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr. Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. How can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you! Now I can get back to being the Carnival Queen. Oh, oh, I think we've got three Carnival Queens now. <laughs> this is the best carnival ever. Pepper loves carnivals. Everybody loves carnivals. Potato City. Pepper and her family are going to Potato City. What is? Potato City, Mummy. It's a theme park, Pepper, where the magic of vegetables never ends. It sounds a bit boring. It will be fun. Potato City, here we come. <laughs> here we are. The family have arrived at a field of potatoes. Is this Potato City? It must be. And it looks like we picked the right day to visit. There are no crowds. Are you sure this is the right place, Daddy Pig? It just looks like a farmer's field to me. Excuse me, is this Potato City? No, that's Potato City. <laughs> it isn't quite what I was expecting. It's fantastic. How many tickets? Two adults and two children, please, Miss Rabbit. Busy, isn't it? Busy? No. This is quiet for Potato City. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Peppa's friends have come to Potato City too. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. And this is Mr Potato himself. Welcome to Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. Ooh. See how vegetables grow. Learn how they keep us fit and healthy. And get shot into space by the Potato Rocket. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to ride on the Potato Rocket. George wants to ride on the potato rocket, too. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off, too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Daddy. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 
to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <coughs> anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! <laughs> roll up, roll up for the vegetable roundabout swing thing. A vegetable roundabout swing thing. <laughs> I like Potato City because it teaches you about vegetables and swings you round and round. <laughs> Potato City, where the magic of vegetables never ends. <laughs> Madam Gazelle's leaving party. <laughs> it is home time at Peppa's playgroup. Children, next week there won't be any playgroup. Why, Madam Gazelle? I am going away. Oh. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Madam Gazelle. Pepper and George are home from playgroup. Mummy, there is no more playgroup. No more playgroup? Madam Gazelle is going away. I suppose she has been teaching a long time. Madam Gazelle taught all the mummies and daddies when they were children. Madam Gazelle taught me everything I know. Who can count to three? One. Two, three. <laughs> Thinking about it, Madame Gazelle must be very old. Which is probably why she's decided to stop teaching. I know. We should give Madame Gazelle a leaving party. <laughs> that sounds fun. It is the day of Madame Gazelle's leaving party. Everyone has come to help. Pedro, you stay outside and tell us if Madame Gazelle's coming along. Why? We don't want Madame Gazelle catching us getting her party ready. Or it wouldn't be a surprise. OK. I hope we've invited everyone. What about Madame Gazelle's old friends? Wasn't she once in a pop group? That's right. She played guitar with the Walking Gazelles. Hello? Rocking gazelles? Hello, Madame Gazelle is leaving the playgroup. Gigi leaving? How sad. We're having a party. A party? What fun. We'll be there. Good. Everyone's coming. Now, let's make the party food. This is the playgroup kitchen. Everyone is helping with the party food. Emily Elephant and Wendy Wolf are decorating cupcakes. I'll do the icing. I was think of the hundreds and thousands. <laughs> Pepper and George are making jelly. Wobbly jelly. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> Pedro Pony is outside keeping guard. Here comes Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle is coming. We're not ready. Stop her, Pedro. OK. Hello, Pedro. You're early for playgroup? Yes. Don't go inside. Why not? It's a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes, Pedro. Can I go inside now? Uh, no. It's against the law. What are you talking about, Pedro? We're ready. You can go in now. Surprise! For she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. And she'll say all of us. Hooray! Here is a present for you, an antique clock. Ooh! It's made of solid plastic. Thank you. But why is there a party for me? Everyone wanted to thank you for being the best teacher in the world. So, we've made you a leaving party. Because you're going away forever. 
I'm not going away forever. But you said there was no more playgroup. Oh, Pepper. All I said was no playgroup next week. I'm going on holiday. Oh! I will be teaching for many years to come. Who else could be the teacher? No one! I'm very happy Madame Gazelle is not leaving. Yes, and I can't think of a better reason for a party. And every party needs music. <gasps> oh, oh, the rocking gazelles! Hello, Gigi. Have you still got your guitar? <laughs> of course. Let's uh, rockety rock. <laughs> Mr. Potato comes to town. Up, down. Pepper down, and her family up, are down, watching Mr. Up, Potato down, up, on television. Up, down, up, down, I love watching programs about up, keeping down, fit. Up, down. Now, here are some lovely drawings I've been sent. This is an apple. Ooh. Remember, eating fruit and vegetables helps you stay fit. I'm good at eating fruit and vegetables. And exercise is important. Today you can see me open a new sports centre in town. Mummy, can we go and see Mr Potato? It's a long way to go to see a potato, Pepper. He's not any old potato. This is Mr Potato. Can we go and see him, Mummy? Please? Oh, all right. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to see Mr Potato open the new sports centre. Look, it's Mr Potato! Mr Potato! Oh, it's just Pepper. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. Susie thought you were Mr. Potato. <laughs> I don't look like Mr. Potato. No, you're much too big. Mr. Potato is bigger than me. No, he's not. He's a potato. And potatoes are this big. <laughs> There's Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato has come to town. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, that's a big potato. I declare this sports center open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um. Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh. Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. 
Wow! That's my picture! It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Hey, eh? What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down, up, down. Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down. Down. Up, down. Everyone up, likes jumping up, up and down. Up, down. Up. Up. <laughs>